Hello and welcome to this tutorial on pan following. For years, people have requested the ability to lock layers in ProShow. Now, while that feature does not exist, and I doubt that it ever will, there are techniques that will let layer B read the function of layer A and use that information to adjust or affect layer B's behavior. Using the techniques to follow can save you time and effort. Now in ProShow Producer we have this feature called a modifier which is used to read the function of another layer. What we're going to use in this basic tutorial is something called pan following. The modifier will read the pan x or pan y of the master layer and use that resulting information to adjust the pan of the subordinate layer. Pan following modifiers are pretty simple basically. They're just a single line action that reads a function from a specified layer. The end result, though, is that they align the subordinate layer center to the master layer center. When the master layer changes position, the subordinate layer automatically adjusts its position accordingly. You can offset the subordinate layer's position from the master layer, and when you do, all you're doing is making a position change relative to the master layer center. Any value in the subordinate layer's pan box or a constant value in the action of the modifier itself is an offset from the master layer's position. For example, if you enter a value into the subordinate layer's pan x that represents its half width, the subordinate layer's outside edge is adjusted such that it aligns with the master layer's vertical center. All you've done is to move the subordinate layer's center by an amount that represents the distance from its center to one of its sides. Pan layer following can make layer position calculations much simpler than if you used multiple keyframes and did your uh, manual adjustment yourself. Generally, a subordinate layer only needs the two default keyframes, and this is because the positioning information is contained in the modifier actions themselves and the two default keyframes. Usually it helps to have some examples to hammer the point home a little better. And so what we're going to do is consider two layers, layer A and layer B, which have the same scale of fill frame. Layer A is a 2 to 3 aspect image. Layer 2, or layer B, is a 16 to 9 aspect image. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have this layer, layer a be the master layer and we're going to have layer B act as a subordinate layer which means that B is going to follow A. Now layer A has a zoom of 10 percent. Layer B has a zoom of 100 percent. So what we're going to do is set up the modifiers now. I'm going to add the modifier. We're going to use a. We're going to leave it acting on all keyframes. I'm going to have a variable amount using pan x from layer one or layer a. We're going to do the same thing for layer b for the pan x, pan y. So we're going to change this to pan y. And we're going to have it affect layer or read a layer A. That's all there is to it. Now, I am going to have layer A travel from the upper left corner to the lower right corner, but I need to know the offset of uh, layer B that's required such that its upper left corner matches layer A's upper left corner throughout that entire movement. So how do I do that? Well, let's start off by adding 50%, which is the, the width, the half width of this layer, add 50% to that layer. And I'll get a, a reference here. So layer B is now, I got 50%. 
and it's aligned with the center of the layer. Now I want it to align with the left edge, so I'm going to add, see I've added 50, I'm going to subtract the half width, which is 5. And that gets me 45. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the height. I'm going to add 50, which gets me down to the center of the layer. Notice the, the icon down here, which represents the layer center. See, it's 50. And I'm at half of the height here. Now I've added 50. Now let's subtract the height. Now the height is according to the formula I given before. Um, it's width times the, it's the zoom times the ratio of the show aspect divided by the layer aspect. In this case, that gives me a height of 13.33, which we'll just round up for our uses here to 13.34. So I'm going to subtract 13.34 from the 50 but I've already added to the layer's position, and it gets me here. So that's going to give me a offset of 45 and 36.66. And I'm going to copy that to both keyframes. Now, I want layer A to be in the upper left corner. To find its proper position, I need to move half the screen across, which is 50%. And then I added, uh, so that's minus 50%. I'm going to add 5. So that's minus 50 plus 5, which is 45. Now I want to go in the upper left corner, so I'm going to subtract 50, which is going to move up to the screen here. And then I'm going to add 13.34, which is going to move this down to 36.66. I'm going to copy to the next keyframe, and I'm going to change those, pos those negative numbers to positive numbers. So now, that's it. What happens if the, if the follower layer is smaller? Let's remove Let's reset the pan. And let's do the same thing here. Now let's change this to 50%. Now, it's smaller. I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. Layer B is still following layer A, but the sizes, the two sizes are now different and it's not 100%. So layer B is going to move, I'm going to, I, I, want it, I want the upper left corners to be adjusted to each other still. So I'm going to move layer B to half the width. See, half the width, half of its width across, which is 25. Now I'm going to subtract 5, which gives me a distance of 20. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for the height. I'm going to add 25, which is the height of this layer. And then I'm going to subtract the height, which is 13.34. And that gives me 11.66. I'm going to move 
layer A again, 50 plus 5 minus 50 plus 13.34 gives me 4536.66. Going to copy keyframes again and make these positive. And there you got it. Now, all other such exercises are exactly the same. You want to offset your follower layer from the master layer, or adjust the subordinate layer from the master layer. You need to figure out a way to adjust relative, adjust its position relative to the master layers. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching this tutorial and hope you stop by for more. Thank you.